Hi everyone! Alright, so for today's craft, I'm going to be showing you how to make a cookie card. And actually, this is the only set that we're going to be using. Now, I'm going to die cut these twice um, through my die cutting machine. And I'm also going to create the different colors. So make sure you have various colors that you can use in order to make this. And I hope this gives you some Christmas card inspiration. Now, this will be fun and easy to do. Now, I have gone through and I cut um, some of my Lawn Fawn scallops, okay? I've already cut out some of my pieces. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is cut out my pieces. I have this one, which is the third from the center. I have this third one and then the second one. So we are gonna end up layering our cards in this fashion. Okay, now this is gonna be an A2 size, okay? And the best part about this is just how quick and easy this is gonna be to put together. So here I have all of my die cuts with all their coordinating colors. Hmm. I'm gonna set that aside. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out my little cookie pieces where I think they're gonna lay. And get rid of his eyes. I think I want it kind of upside down and wonky there. So two upside down. Mm. one this way, kind of create a division there. Right. So now we're ready to start adding in some of these items. So I'm simply going to come in, drop in some glue to fill these in. And look at how quick and easy this is. I mean, wow. Just gonna pop these little guys right on in there, just like that. Right into their respective pieces.
Well, you want it to be on my lap, so don't complain. And how simple was that? Now I have a little hearts here that I cut out a pink as well. Just gonna put those down just like that. I'm perfect. Now we're gonna glue this down onto here. And this is one of my favorite double-sided pieces of paper. This comes from Echo Park. there. We're going to lay this one right on top. But before we do that, but before we do that, I want to take some twine because I want to add it here to the card. Okay. So I just kind of want to do it like this, make it come across, and then set that down just like that so that we have this cute little thing here. Go ahead and cut that. Got it crossed right where I want it. I think just about there. And what's going to happen is I'm just going to pull that a little bit taut. some washi tape to hold that down while I work. Okay, so here I have some foam tape. Okay. I'm just going to make sure that this lines the whole thing. And you see, nice and covered. Nobody will ever know that it's back there. Okay, let's get this one nice and lined. Now, I'm just going to come here and crease my little tabs. 
from opposite corners. That will help me create my buffer. Perfect. Pull. Pull. And pull. And there we have our card. Now, I am going to come back right about here and tie off a little bow. Now you noticed I put it a little bit further out and this kind of helps doing it this way. I've tried so many other ways and this has been the most effective way of me getting a nice neat little bow. Well, snip. Let's make them shorter, I think. Even that one up. Okay. Now we just need to work this one, which is going to go right here. And we're gonna push that over just a smidgen to kind of make that cover. So. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to get some distress ink and I just want to go over these edges just a little bit, not too, too bad. some of that color. And just like that. So now I'm just going to put down my sentiment. So that says it's beginning to smell a lot like Christmas cookies. do it. So which one are we going to use is the question. Is the question, question. Okay, so here I'm going to be using VersaClare Fine. in here and look at how well that covers just a couple of pops Oof. 
Beautiful. Look at that. All right. There he is, Mr. Goody. Go. You've been crying for him. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. just going to cut this sideways here All right, so here I have some little bow embellishments. Okay, so here I have some little bow embellishments that I figured just might add a nice little touch to this as well. So here's a closer look at what we have made. Thanks for watching Heartcraft Paper. For more videos and tutorials like these, don't forget to subscribe. Visit the website at www.heartcraftpaper.com.